Hi guys, it's Bobby from Horse Tender Studio again. This is the second video I've recorded in like 12 hours-ish. It's like a new record. Um, anyway, I mentioned in last night's video that I've been doing a bit of retail therapy um, <laughs> lately. Uh, anyway, yesterday the my Rio Ronda order and the Meadowbrook cart came in. Um, today, just now, a few minutes ago, the mailman brought this. Um, isn't it beautiful? <laughs> uh, this is the Collector's Club, um, what are they called? I don't know, Collector's Club special run, I guess. Um, Sassy, I think her name is. It's the Lonesome Glory Appaloosa. Um, I'm gonna just open as I talk this time. Uh, and I actually got the notification that she had come out when we were outside um, taking care of the chickens at some point last week. We were been doing a lot of work on the chicken coop, um, uh, putting in a new floor, putting in windows and, and all that. And we were putting in the floor in the chicken coop and I just happened to glance at my phone and it's like, email from Briar. I'm like, oh, what are they saying? And there was a picture of this horse and I was like, oh, <laughs> because I love Lonesome Glory and I really like Appaloosas and yeah. So I kind of took a break from the chicken stuff and it's kind of silly because like I was nervous when I was like logging into my Collectors Club account and all that on my phone and trying to get PayPal going and all that because I've been hearing how quickly the Collectors Club horses are selling out. Um, kind of seems like it's a new thing because uh, the only two Collectors Club horses that I have are, I have Celeste, I think she's called. Um, and then, uh, oh, what is her name? Starlet, I think, the um, Appaloosa Croy. And I think they were available for like a couple days or so before I had ordered them uh, when we were living in Japan. I don't quite remember, but I don't remember there being like this huge rush. Anyway, I've been hearing like all this year for sure like they're just selling out super fast and I think this one sold out within like a few hours so I think I just barely got her but I was just kind of like nervous because I was just like gosh she's gonna sell out I really want her um and my order went through and I was like okay back to chickens <laughs> anyway she's here um oh that's cool there's like a little it looks like a little magazine in here um, I guess, okay, so it's like the catalog, a little catalog book, um, there's a lot of, oh, okay, there's a little thing in here about customizing, it's kind of cool, a little crossword, a little word search, talking about their coloring contests, oh, that's cool. They have little like checklists, like Freedom Series. They have a little checklist where you can like mark off the ones that you have or the ones you want, maybe. That's neat. Um, okay, here she is. Oh, I think she's upside down. Okay. There she comes. I've been seeing a lot about her being different colors. Some people are getting darker ones or lighter ones. And I've also seen that she's apparently like really glossy. And it's kind of funny because historically I haven't liked glossy horses. And I'm still not sure that I do a lot. But I do have a few now. And they're kind of growing on me. I think I've heard for performance they're good because they don't get less likely to get scratched with the, the gloss coat. Alright, lots of bubble wrap. 
in a bag. Oh, she's pretty. First look. She's a pretty girl. Unwrap the tail. Unwrap the head. Ooh, she's pretty. I would say she's probably one of the lighter ones, just from what I've seen. She's really light on the front end. Um, I've seen some people kind of say she's almost like a strawberry, almost maybe like a strawberry roam type color. She doesn't have a dark head, but oh, that's awesome. She does have mottled skin on her nose. It's a little harder to see, but then on the undercarriage, she's got really nice modeling. She is a pretty girl. I'm not super concerned about any flaws or whatever. I don't really see anything on her. There's a couple of like tiny, tiny little like discolorations or maybe like a rough spot. I'm not concerned. She is super pretty. All I can think of whenever I see one of these newer briars is just like how far they've come. Um, there's been some talk on hobby social media channels lately of, you know, comparing old briars to how they look now and it just there's no comparison. I mean, I still love the old briars. I still have my childhood carpet herd and they're dearly loved. and. I still, you know, play with them and and try to um, photo show them and I've live showed some of them just for the hell of it. Um, so I love them, but they just can't compare to this, to anything that Briar's doing now. She's a pretty girl. All right, well, I guess I will stop rambling. I'll let you, I'll let you guys look at her. That. She's shiny. Pretty girl. So that is Sassy, I think her name was. The Briar, Briar Collectors Club horse for, I guess, fall of 2020. She's a nice fall color. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed taking a look at her. And um, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe uh, if you'd like. I'm going to try to start doing more videos. Like I said, this is a new record. Um, I did one last night and I'm doing one this morning and maybe I should go take a nap. <laughs> Alright, I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you're all doing well. Love you. Bye.